Hello and welcome to lesson number 6.4 where we will talk about actions. Well, what do I mean with actions, right? Um, if you remember, we were dealing with the attribute table in the last lessons where we talked about forms, how to add it, how to add some new fields, that fields can contain different types of information like integers, texts, and whatsoever. So Actions is now taking these fields to the somehow next level. So let's point out maybe to a real life example. Sometimes you have photos stored on your PC, on your Mac, um, that are somehow linked to a geographical item like a point or a shapefile or, or a feature or whatsoever. And instead of just showing the, 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 the path, so the, the link to the photo on your PC, you would like to enable QGIS to open up the image in your application. So you're clicking on somewhere, the photo comes up. You're clicking somewhere, a Google search will start and so on. So actions will take the attributes to the next level. By saying so, we have digitized the school property layer in the last lessons and we will create some actions for this school property due to the fact that the, there are some photos shopped along, uh, shipped along with the exercise data. So let's have a look here on the school properties and first of all, we will somehow, um, rework one of the last lessons we will first toggle editing uh, to create a new feed a new attribute so let's open up the attribute table and use this button new field and we will name it image this will be of type text string and we will make it as well 100 characters should be fine if you're having longer um paths in your environment like you're working with some nested folders or something increase this number to be as sufficient as possible now you can see there's no form adjusted to it so you can just simply type whatever you want but we will not work like that because we know better now so let's close this for the moment go to the properties and open up the attributes form. The image should not be a text editor. No, 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 no. We will work with an attachment. Attachment means that we have some sort of file URL, right? Um, then you have the choice to use rela relative paths. So according to the project you're working on and absolute path. I will now not enable relative paths. I will go with the uh, total path. And so Go once again to the attribute table, make sure to be in the form view and not in the table view. So image is now some sort of um, attachment. And so we have here the athletic field. So let's go with the athletics field. Rugby field should be rugby field, right? And school campus should be, of course, school campus. So we are here, let's save this. And what is happening now is that we have the, the somehow the, 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 the end point. So we have the image. But now we need to open it up, right? So normally if you're open, if you're just using the identify feature tool, you still have the same boring dialogue, right? And you cannot interact with the attribute itself. So how to deal with that? Double click on the school properties and you have seen it up front. There is an option to um, work with the actions. Now there is a list which is empty right now. So we can add here a new type and we will use generic. Generic means we can type whatever we want. There are other options like, like different Python, Mac, Windows, Unix, and so on. We will take a look at the Python uh, type. Uh, shortly and we will say well let's open image and this is the description of the of the um of the uh, action and what we will do is we will open up something and what is it we will open up 
the image URL, right? So we select insert, and now you see this really you know, not common connotation. We have, um, I think, yeah, it's square, bra square brackets, um, percentage, image, percentage, and this will tell the system to open up the path that is defined in the attribute image. Just press on OK and OK. And now we have now the actions button here enabled and we can select which action it should take. We would like to take the open image action. And let's have a look here. Now the cursor has changed. Go there. Oh, there it is. So the default application for opening up images or this type of attachment is preview on my Mac. So we are opening up the school campus.jpg. Uh, let's go to the rock. Oh, I think it's a rugby field. Let's have a look here. The school properties go to labels. Say, well, I would like to have single labels. Name is just fine. Yeah, it's a rugby field. Uh, the label is inside the polygon. Let's enable the um, this tool again. Go there. We need to enable the open image uh, action. So now the the button has changed to green color. Go to rugby field. There it is, the rugby field. So this is opening up images. Now I've mentioned it already. How to deal with URLs, right? So if you have a name, you would like to search on it on the internet. Well, internet is a it's a cool thing, right? And uh, of course, we find a lot of information that is already part of our data on the internet. Um, let's take for an example, this land use here is called Swellendam. And there's a little suburb or something like that um, near to Swellendam that has a name as well. So let's go here to land use and say, well, I would like to show labels as well. And we will take one more time the name. So now we can see the names for each um, for each land use polygon. But what about the actions in the end? Um, if you have a look on Google, uh, you will find the search term that's always the same. It always consists of www.google.com search question mark Q equals something. And we will take this link pattern for our actions. So what we will do, we will open up actions, create a new one, say search Google, right? Always the same, open now this and the, what is in the end is the name of the land use. So we will insert this, open, HTTPS, bum, 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 and there we go. So let's just press on OK, save it, and now we will enable the search Google on this one. What happens now is that there will be a new search window. It will open up, and it will create a search item for the item of, of choose, right? Railton. There it is. We have Google search on Ralton. Let's search for something different for the Marlet Nor Nature Reserve. We will pan first to the item. Enable the action button again. I've clicked on it. I've clicked on it. I've clicked on it and nothing happens. What's going on here? Swellendam works just fine. Railton works fine as well. But the Marleth Nature Reverse Reserve will not work at all. But you see, actions can take you at 
attributes a step further. And now we will take the third example, which includes somehow, or the example is about opening up a query not on the browser. So if I go here to Swill and Dumb and say, well, let's have a look here on Swill and Dumb, search Google for this attribute, Swill and Dumb, and opens up a new application. And um, QGIS comes with build and support for different entities. You have printing support, whatsoever, whatever you can imagine doing with Python, you can do inside um, the actions form. And therefore, we will have a look here at the land use and we will apply new um, the new action, which is Python. And we will search in Wikipedia for our names, search wiki. And um, in the example it is all written in uh, a single line, but due to the fact that we are, or we intend to be Python people, we will do it correctly. So. We will have here the query that's paste here. So we will import some um, modals, QWebView and QURL for the URL support. We will uh, create a new web view and we will load in QURL with HTTPS, wikipedia.org, wiki slash, and then the name attribute of the feature of choice. And then we'll so we'll open up and show the web view. This is more or less the query itself. So just press on OK. Press on OK here as well. Just make sure that you're using the correct, um, the correct action form. And there it is. So no new application is coming up. It's all built into Python inside QGIS. And you will have a look here as well. Let's close this again. Go to Relton. There it is. So the Wikipedia search for the names and the attributes of your choice. Create this one or remove this again. Go to search Google. Still not working on Marlet Math Nature Reserve. Could be that there is something crooked with the geometry. So sometimes it's not working on crooked geometries because the cursor cannot define whether you're inside the polygon or outside. So go here. Works just fine with colon yes boss. And um, this is, you remember, Google. So that's the action. Uh, that's the other action form, right? Um, so actions will definitely increase your usage of, of QGS because you can define so many different actions. You can combine features, attributes, and so on. So, so um, just to create your very own personal and integration of different applications from the PC, um, from the internet, from some APIs on the web and so on. So if you would like to create an, an action form which gives you the weather, you can simply say, okay, let's open up the weather for your location, right? So there are weather APIs where you can just uh, simply um, push your location, like latitude, longitudes, and the time to the API, and you will get the current weather forecast for that day, for that point of of, of um, for the for that point so actions are really cool features and you should work with them um you they will increase your 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 experience a lot thanks again for watching take care and goodbye if you have any questions or comments just drop them and i will answer them immediately bye bye